New Zealand's drug buying agency, Pharmac, was established in 1993 as a central independent body to determine which medicines and related products are funded in New Zealand. It's the only agency in the world that both decides what medicines to fund and manages a fixed budget for those medicines. Broadly, the model works well and gives New Zealanders access to the medicines and related products they need to live healthy lives. It has been recognised internationally as keeping drug costs down. Since we came into government in 2017, we've increased funding to Pharmac by an average of over $67 million per year, or by $269.4 million in total, including one-off COVID-related payments that were added in 2020-2021. In total, this represents a funding increase of 28.5% over that period. Compared to a budget increase of 6.7% for the previous national government, you can see it has been a considerable, but I would argue, necessary investment. These funding increases have lifted Pharmac's spending power by more than a quarter. It's more than a quarter of a billion dollars extra were put into medicines New Zealanders rely on to live healthy lives. But no system is perfect, and we remain acutely aware of concerns about Pharmac's processes and decisions. There have been questions raised around the safety of substituting medicines due to cost and availability, and questions raised around access to products that are funded in other countries but not here in New Zealand. I want to reassure people that we hear those concerns. It's crucially important that New Zealanders have trust and confidence in the Pharmac model, including the way it considers new medicines, the way it identifies and addresses safety concerns, and the way it makes decisions. This is how we can make a good system even stronger, and we shouldn't shy away from that challenge. In the 27 years since Pharmac was established, there have been various reviews of aspects of its operations. But none of these reviews have focused directly on the agency's performance or its role as part of the wider health and disability system. Prior to the last election, I committed to an independent review of Pharmac, and today we are delivering on that commitment. The review will focus on two key issues. First, how well Pharmac performs against its current objectives and whether and how its performance could be improved. And second, whether Pharmac's current objectives enable it to improve health outcomes for all New Zealanders, with an emphasis on equity in particular for Māori and Pacific peoples, and whether and how those objectives should be changed. It will consider the timeliness of decision-making, transparency and accessibility of decision-making processes too, an issue that has been raised by people. Through this review, we'll ensure that people can, I hope, have confidence that Pharmac is making the best contribution it can to improving health outcomes for all New Zealanders. We have a good system. Our challenge is to make it better.